Uh, we built big units in in Louisiana and partly here in uh, in Quonset. Uh, they will be ready by by June. Then they will be on a cargo barge and they will be transported to uh, the Block Island wind farm. In the meantime, uh, a, a big crane vessel will set up at the first uh, location. Uh, the, the transportation barge will arrive and will lift the, the bottom piece of the foundation uh, from that barge and, and lift it uh, onto the, to the seabed. The tower uh, total is 330 feet, so we will sail out with three pieces uh, and each, each piece is about 100 feet. Uh, in the bottom tower, that, that part of the tower is uh, having all uh, the electrical equipment. And then two other tower sections are put on top of that. And after that we will put the nacelle on top of that tower. Uh, also a bolted connection, and then we do uh, the blade installation. Electricity is produced when a copper coil is rotated inside a magnetic field. The turbine generator works by this same principle. The rotor has the magnets, so that is being rotated by the wind and, and the rotor. And the wirings, uh, the coils, that's the stator, is outside of, uh, of that. So by, by turning the magnets in those coils, the power is, uh, is generated in the coils and is, uh, is transferred into a power cable. We have a lay barge, and that lay barge will lay the cable onto the seabed and bury it at the same time. So the cable is buried for uh, six feet into the seabed. Uh, I think that... Deepwater wind represents uh, what is so great about Rhode Island and what we have the potential to be doing. You know, this is an opportunity to create jobs and it's an opportunity for us to stake out real leadership in this growing industry.